The challenge many businesses face is predicting customer behavior, right? So particularly customer revenue, so we can make smarter decisions about customer acquisition and retention. So if we think about the past, this kind of prediction required a data science team, weeks of work, but with PCAN, I'll show you how to build a predictive model in minutes with AI using a simple guided workflow. So first things first, let's start with our first question. So I'm gonna ask, I want to predict revenue for each customer. And as you can see here, I'm starting with a general business question, but what's powerful about PCAN is that it uses this AI to help refine this question into something that's actually precise enough for predictive modeling, which can start by confirming these values, a quick yes. And now I can state my horizon is 180 days after their registration and my trigger is 30 days after their purchase. And what PCAN's AI system essentially does is it asks me these clarifying questions to turn my general business goal into this specific actionable prediction target. And what we have after a quick dialogue here is the refined question. So predict 30 days after a customer's first purchase, the total revenue from each customer in the next 180 days. We're now going to say, looks good, let's continue. And this precision is what makes predictions actionable because we're specifying exactly when we want to make the prediction. So this is 30 days after the first purchase and also what the time period is. So 180 days after registration. Now here, my data is already connected, but it's also worth noting how easy it is. So PCAN connects directly into your data warehouse, or you can simply upload some CSV files. I'll just leave it all confirmed. And now what's happening is PCAN's actually analyzing the data uh, to understand what tables and fields are actually available for our prediction. For the sake of speed, I'm going to ask to generate the queries all at once. And here we have now PCAN generating what's called a nutbook. So it's essentially a series of SQL queries that transform our raw data into a structured format that's actually suitable for predictive modeling. So the beauty in all this data preparation, which typically takes data scientists, you know, weeks, is actually now being automated in literally seconds. As we can see from our question up at the top here, we're predicting 30 days after a customer's first purchase, the total revenue for each customer in the next 180 days. And that's reflected in the tables here because we've got this plus 30 day interval and also uh, this interval plus 180 days here to get the total revenue over the next 180 days. Now, for the sake of speed, all you have to do is just hit run entire notebook and it will run all of these cells for you. And the ultimate goal of running all of these queries is to actually build out this core data set for actually training the model. Now, I'm pretty happy with this. I like how it's looking. All I have to do now is click on train model. And here, all I have to do is just validate the data set. So it's very, very simple. If we look at the data mapping function, we've got this core set that we've specified. Now what I can do is select any attributes. And for those not familiar, essentially an attribute is a feature in the data that we can pick from to inform our analysis. So these are essentially data points that are essential because they just form the foundation for our models to learn the patterns to actually make the predictions. And what I love about PCAN is it actually suggests potential attribute tables for you to use. So we're gonna say, great suggestion, I wanna use that, and also these additional attributes. So PCAN not only suggests potential attributes, but it also enables me to suggest ones that I wanna include myself. So what I'm doing is I'm actually suggesting things like historical subscriptions, customer registrations, historical products ordered, all these things to essentially build context. And what's happening here is that each attribute that I provide um, what it's doing is it's essentially giving more context for the model to make more accurate predictions about the future. Once I'm happy, all I have to do is click validate data sets and it will validate all these data sets that I'm using to train and actually run my predictive model. Now we can just click through to continue to model training. We've already selected the data set. We've already ran the tables. Now we can actually select the training mode. So this is really determining how long we want to train the model for to determine essentially how accurate it will be. In this case, I want it to be super accurate. So I'm gonna choose production quality, which will likely take a few hours. All that's left to do is hit train model. And now it's time to wait. Okay, boom, our model is done. And actually what we can see here is it's super, super accurate in terms of what the actual values were versus what the predicted values were, right? So it's only a 8.4% differential here. And what we can do now is actually see how our predictions compare to the actual values. So the model is actually showing really strong accuracy with the predictive revenue closely matching the actual revenue across different customer segments. And actually when we compare our model to the benchmark, there's actually a really high degree of correlation between what we made versus the actual values. Now, one of my favorite features about PCAN is this ACT tab. This is actually where we get to turn these predictions into action. So what I can do is actually create customer segments based on the predicted revenue. So here we can look at which customer demographic groups have the highest predicted LTV. Okay, female against male, so female is slightly higher. What about the product type of the first purchase? How does that influence LTV? Okay, so what we can see here is that the healthy snack box actually influences a higher predicted LTV, whereas if it's just fitness apparel you're buying, 
it's a significantly lower LTV. And we can get even more granular. So how does the product type relate to predicted revenue? Really interesting. So as we saw earlier, you know, those um, those supplements and those healthy snacks higher than just the fitness apparel, but you can see that cascade from nutrition plans all the way down. What's more, when we even think about using discounts, right? So something really important within retail, showing no discount versus a discount, no discount actually leads to higher predicted LTVs. And what I love about PCAN is that we can actually set up these automations whereby PCAN can regularly refresh these predictions and actually send them directly to our business tools, such as HubSpot, such as Salesforce, and we can actually configure this using a right connector to send these predictions directly. And the real power is that once we've actually configured these automations, we'll be able to constantly update these predictions flowing into the tools that your sales team actually use. So getting these insights on tap on demand is absolutely brilliant to actually inform future campaigns. And I think this is super powerful because in just a few minutes, we've gone from this general business question here into something that's super, super targeted to actually build a predictive model to help identify our most valuable customers in our business. And, you know, this whole process was guided and required no coding or data science expertise. It's just about using business knowledge to then understand what factors might influence your customer revenue. That's the power of predictive analytics. Let me know how you get on.